Mary Brown hints at split from new boyfriend Amos Andrews with cryptic quotes about moving on. Mary Brown has shared some upsetting messages that could hint that she's single again. Mary debuted her boyfriend, Amos Andrews, on social media on January 16 following her split from ex Cody Brown. Then, on Tuesday, the Sister Wives star started posting several cryptic messages on her Instagram story. All of Mary's new posts seem to hint that she's trying to get a fresh start and that she's worthy of love. Amos was over $20,000 in debt two years before being brought into the spotlight, the U.S. Sun exclusively revealed. The U.S. Sun confirmed by court documents that the Salt Lake City-based man was married four times before he started dating Mary in October 2023. His most recent marriage was to a woman named Jennifer Andrews. They got married on September 7, 2016, in Arizona. And then she filed for divorce on March 18, 2021, in Utah. Jennifer filed for divorce on the grounds of irreconcilable differences, claiming they experienced difficulties that cannot be reconciled and that have prevented the parties from pursuing a viable marital relationship. The divorce was finalized on April 28, 2021. In the findings of facts document, obtained by the U.S. Sun, their personal property was divided equitably between the parties. Neither party was awarded alimony, and they each were responsible for their own attorney's fees. For each of their debts, they were ordered to pay all debts in his or her name. While her debts totaled $15,380, his debts totaled $17,372. In addition, their joint debt was divided and Jennifer was responsible for $5,462.50, while Amos was responsible for $3,470.50. This brought his personal debt and the joint debt to a total of $20,842.50. Mary's man has been accused of refusing to pay child support in his nasty second divorce, the U.S. Sun exclusively revealed. One of Amos' four ex-wives spoke to the U.S. Sun about his alleged controlling behavior and obsession with reality stars. Then, in new court documents obtained by the U.S. Sun, more can revealed about Amos' past and his relationship with his second wife. He got married to his second wife, Shannon Marie Martin, in Las Vegas on February 18, 1995, when he was 26 and she was 18. They welcomed a daughter together, Tiffany Andrews, two years later. Shannon filed for divorce in Arizona on August 16, 2000, admitting their marriage was irretrievably broken and there is no reasonable prospect of reconciliation. The couple has since been embroiled in a nasty child support battle. In the beginning, Amos was ordered to pay Shannon $373 per month in child support beginning February 1, 2001, and lasting until Tiffany's 18th birthday or other applicable legal reasons. However, over the next 12 years, Amos' ex-wife claimed he failed to adhere to court orders that a judge signed off on at the time. In August 2013, Shannon went back to court to file a petition to modify custody-slash-legal decision-making, parenting time, and child support. Shannon alleged, The father did not make consistent child support payments from the time of divorce in 2001 until his wages were garnished in 2008. The seven years of arrears total approximately $10,000, for which the father currently pays only $125 per month through wage garnishment. She continued, The father has been difficult to reach and frequently changed phone numbers, mailing addresses, and email addresses without informing the mother, sometimes multiple times a year. She explained that all of this accounted for her not being able to collect child support and request payment for his share of expenses. Shannon also alleged in the court docs that he had refused to contribute to the child's expenses for daycare, medical-slash-dental-slash-vision, and education for the past 12 years, and that she paid for every extracurricular school activity, medical appointment, counseling, braces, glasses, contacts, etc. Shannon informed the court that in addition to paying for expenses for Tiffany, 
She also had three other children under the age of 10. Prior to Shannon's filing to modify the agreement, Amos had separately filed a modification in June 2013. He requested payments stop altogether because their daughter was living with him at the time and had been for three months. He also hinted at money problems since he accused Shannon in an email, per the court docs, that she had frozen his accounts. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Jenny, hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel.